In this video, we're going to go over systemic desensitization. Systemic desensitization is a type of behavior therapy that uses counter conditioning to treat phobias and anxiety produced by particular stimuli. Counter conditioning is based on the principles of classical conditioning and is a method of conditioning an unwanted behavior or response to a stimulus to a desired behavior or response. So as an example, a person who is afraid of spiders might scream when they see a spider. You can see here that the stimulus is the spider and the unwanted behavior is screaming. What counter conditioning does is to change the response to the spider to a desired one. So instead of screaming, they might instead remain calm. All right, so the way systemic desensitization works is there are three steps. In the first step, the individual creates what is called an anxiety hierarchy. They will first list a number of items that produce anxiety, and then they will rank the items by the severity of the induced anxiety. So when they're done, they'll have a list where on one end, they will have the item that produces the least amount of anxiety, and on the other end, they'll have the item that produces the most anxiety. Second, the individual is trained in muscle relaxation. So they're taught how to relax their muscles. Finally, the individual is gonna be presented with the items in the anxiety hierarchy, starting with the weakest stimulus. When the individual is presented with each item in the anxiety hierarchy, they're going to practice muscle relaxation. The reason why is because when your muscles are relaxed, you can't at the same time experience anxiety. The two are opposites to each other. So the idea is that when the individual practices muscle relaxation, this causes the individual to respond less to the anxiety producing stimulus. So after a few repetitions, the individual wants to get to a point where that weakest anxiety producing stimulus no longer produces any anxiety. Once that occurs, the process is repeated with the next item in their anxiety hierarchy. And the process is repeated over and over again until the entire list of items is complete. And the item that produced the most anxiety at the beginning no longer produces any anxiety. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for notifications. We release new videos every week covering the highest yield content on the MCAT. Plus, you can check out the video description for links to useful resources like our MCAT Prep mobile application.